Oh, whoa. It sounds like it's raining. Hey guys, Sid Survival Guide. <laughs> Look, man, we're up here at Elkmont. We are going to walk around. We are gonna walk right here uh, where it says Spence Cabin. And we're gonna go check out the Little River Trail. Um, apparently the trail we done in the last video was only 0.3, we was thinking it was a mile. <laughs> we were way unhealthier than we thought we are. Little River Trail is, what is it, 0.1? Little River Trails Point One, Historic Elkmont, and then we have the Jake's Creek Trailhead, which I think is one mile. So we're just gonna take a look at this area and check things out. I'm gonna strap you guys to my chest so that we don't, we ain't got the look around issue that we had yesterday, but I'm gonna keep my little, my little tripod-like horse thing that I made. You guys gotta see this thing. It's awesome, but let's go. Found these waters today. 99 cents. Alkaline 88, whatever that is. How about we just go look around? Spence Cabin event. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is like a, a thing. Pretty sure things are things up here, you know what I mean? Stuff are things. Look, there's the Eastern Hillbender Salamander. Right there, guys. <sighs> what? Yeah, that's Spence Cabin. Yeah, we're gonna right, right, walk right down. Yeah, look at it. 2.3, 2.7, 3.7. The Little River Trail has got a bunch of different on it. That's what that is. Yeah. <sighs> No, Jake's Gap is, so we'll walk up there to get to it. See, there's the cucumber. Yeah. So I'm gonna be a part of something that's... Oh, that's... That's not for me. Where's that from? I don't know, it's off the window. Is that... Somebody threw a cigarette down or something. That's crazy, right? I'm glad I didn't, I'm not the only one that's seen that. Let's see what this Alkaline 88 smooth hydration tastes like. Oh, Bigfoot broke a branch, you see it. Look at this little area. Yeah, I've seen that. Oh shoot. Right here's one. Oh, the river's right there. Look, this right here, that looks just like somewhere that I would build a shelter right there. In an emergency, I would shelter right there if it wasn't right next to this big cabin. <laughs> you know? Smart man says, sleep under roof. Yeah, scheduled site visit or reservation. There's a park ranger here though, he might let us in. Park ranger will let us in. You never know. There's people in there though. See him in the window? Oh, they probably got a thing going. Mm -hmm. All right, Spence Cabin. The cabins constructed in this area of Elkmont called Millionaire's Row were developed toward the end of the lumbering boom on prime real estate along the river, somewhat removed from the more densely populated Daisy Town. These cabins offered more privacy for their owners and ready access to the community swimming hole. <laughs> the Spence Cabin was one of the largest and most impressive constructed in 1928 for Alice Townsend. 
the third wife of Colonel W.B. Townsend. The house was originally called River Lodge. Uh, Colonel W.B. Townsend, president of the Little River Lumber Company, had successful lumbering and railroad operations in Pennsylvania and Kentucky before coming to Tennessee. Look at it. Let's walk down through here. See what we can see. See what we can see. Lifetime leases were negotiated that allowed families to continue to spend summer vacationing in Elkmont. In 2001, the last of the leases expired. Yeah, I think I read that somewhere else. The last leaseholder of the cabin was the Spence family from Knoxville. That's, cool. That's beautiful. The Spence family from Knoxville. That's good to hear that the last people that had it was local. It's definitely been updated over the years. Looks like, look, it's on. Old stone foundations. I love that. Love it. Such a beautiful location. But it pulls water from the river up there. I think there's somebody in there, but. So beautiful. Cold? Yeah. Look where the sun's just lovely blooming in. Just blah blah blah. <laughs> blah blah blah. <laughs> Look at all the logs. Yeah. That's wild. Right here. Alright, let's go check out the Elkmont and then we'll check out the Jake Bess trailhead the point one. Jake Bess, is it? Is it? No, probably not. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> City Co. <laughs> See how it looks like water come through here? Yeah. A lot. <laughs> Look right there. It's got a there's a deck over there. Oh, there is a yeah, let's walk over there. there. Did it say site visits? Yeah. By appointment only? Or we're not allowed to, to be here? I don't know. Well, maybe, maybe not. Well, they'll come tell us. Well, the ranger walked out and came. Oh, did he? Yeah. Okay. He's on the front porch right there. Oh, okay. Look at this. Look at that quartz. Look, somebody covered a mine up right there <laughs> with the quartz they pulled <laughs> out of it. Tree. Yeah. Look at this tree. Big How is that doing that? Look at the yeah. the wall that's been built up. This is beautiful. Oh, you 
Yeah. Look at that mushroom. Oh yeah. Little red berries running across the ground, you see them? Yeah. I like the ones I was looking at yesterday. Yeah, I do. I was watching the, I was editing the video. Mm -hmm. Look. Yep, big one. Something's been eating on it. Yep. Here, look at that. Look at both of them. Big ass turkeys over there. Super into mushrooms here recently, apparently. Right? Well, I mean, I keep seeing them, and I want to record them. This is that time of year. It is. This big one. This is what brought me over here. Oh, that was good. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> uh. And then the loose. That's all over. Just stick a dollar to that sign. Back to nature. One of the Daisy Town houses under construction, city dwellers sought a return to architectural simplicity and harmony with nature. I'll tell you something about Oakmont. It's a magical place. When I come up here, I feel close to God. I love this place. My favorite place in the world to be Eddie Tipton, Oakmont resident. Huh. Right now it's heavily under construction. See the befores and afters. The befores and afters. Yeah. You guys got my hat on. Pretty much. I think those are hickory hats or something. Whoever's doing the work. Stay back. Do not cross the barrier. We can go in this one. Welcome. This structure is open to visitors. This is number eight. Not got a good history with you, stinging guy. Crazy old. This thing is so crazy off. Everything is unlevel. It's got modern amenities. But it's cool though. Yeah.
Like the, the past was not built by tall people, I feel like. This is awesome. They cut, yeah, because it's all young. Yeah, they Except cut for it the off. big stuff, yeah. It's cool. It's crazy, I think. You know? They just cut it all out and sell it. Modern, modern amenities here and there. I mean, this is, this is a good spot, eh? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, right? Live here forever. Is it open? Yeah, it's open. Like you want to go over here? I was going to read this one too. Because I don't know where these are. Yeah, those are probably schoolhouses. Yeah. I do. Electric. E eclectic. Super cool. Hodgepodge. If anybody wants to read any of this, you can pause it. Some of these old pictures over here. Look at the snow. This one's got a bit of a lean to it. That one? With the big 20 inch siding? Front room right here. It's tricks. Feels like it is. Does not feel like real lumber. No grounds. Oh, the new back deck. That's cool. See, I believe in this. See the gutters. I like the gutter. Probably took longer to build that fireplace than it did the cabin. I said, probably took longer to build the fireplace than the cabin. Look, it's got like half dovetail. Yeah, I do too. <coughs> I like the back gutter. This is wonky. The fireplace is wonky. Yeah, I like the gutter. Yeah, that's hot. I like this one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Look at it though. Yeah, it's a little offset. A little. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, that little one right there with the red windows. Yeah. Always in the Levi-Latham. Levi-Latham. Trenton. Yeah, it's like half dovetail. So when you have like a full dovetail, you have the full dovetail. Yeah, you said it used to be on the, the Jake trailer or whatever. Oh, they brought it down here? They dismantled it and brought it down here. It's being used as a, uh, a visitor house. Oh, look at their fireplace. What? It would be like a little one, single cabin, you know? Yeah, this would be me and you. This is perfect. You know, if the kids was off doing boarding school or whatever at that, because this millionaire's row, you know what I mean? You got another little old house. Oh, it's got back to it. It's got a back to it. It's got a bedroom and a bathroom. It's got a bedroom and a bathroom? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. All right. Yeah. Smell it. I do. It doesn't look nice. You can go in this one, can't you? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, this is probably a general store or something. Doors. Yeah. Makes sense. It's awesome. I like open floor plans though. I like how you do what? Oh, that probably wasn't even really there. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Little big door. But that's cool though. You share the kitchen, but you have separate living quarters, separate fireplace. Yeah, that is cool. It's like an apartment. Like an Hello. How are you today? Absolutely wonderful. Fantastic. How are you? Doing good. That little building right there is a girl's playhouse. Yeah. It's called Adamless Eden because no boys were allowed. Adamless Eden. That is so funny. Yeah. It would, babe. That was a that was the Adamless Eden. Eden. No, no boys were it was a girls' playhouse. Oh, girls' playhouse. Yeah. Well, that'd be a neat playhouse Yeah, today that standards for today, you can't get them like that. That's crazy. Oh, Adam was eating. That's funny. Yeah. No boys allowed. So it was the Mr. Townsend and he built this house for his daughter and that for the granddaughters. That's cool. Yeah. That's super cool. Look at this one. Nice fireplace. Yeah. That one over there and that one was nice. 
Yeah. You know, because it's got the two side doors and the one door in the middle. Yeah. The side doors, they've been closed off. You know what I mean? The one middle. It's probably a comfy sleep right there. I'm gonna have to walk down here and tinkle, babe. I'm gonna have to walk down here and tinkle. I've been staying very hydrated. Have you? I have. Poor Ranger just bores me and shit to do. Just sitting there talking. <laughs> do it. That's what I would do up here. Talking to people. Yeah. 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 And that he built that for the granddaughters. A little playhouse for the See how it's got like a bathroom built onto it. Yeah, on the, it's like a little hook. Yeah, it's it's got a hole in the floor, like a toilet. Yeah, like a, yeah. A drain. Yeah. Yeah. Place to be. Yep. I'm gonna go. In, <laughs> I'm gonna go hit a potty, and we can check out the clubhouse. Once the heart of the resort community, the Appalachian Clubhouse community, they grew up here, one of the many Southern Appalachian resorts that thrived in the early 20th century. The train from Knoxville made eight stops along the way, arriving in Elkmont three hours later. The last stop on the line was the Appalachian Club. A railroad? Came all the way up here? The, the original burnt down. It was rebuilt in 1934. Super long. Sundays. The train did. To Maryville. To Maryville. Isn't that Wallen, Townsend? I don't know, a train come all the way up here. Makes sense though. Wonderland Park? I don't know. I wonder if they'll let us bring the grill up here. I wonder if they'll let us bring the grill up here and have lunch right here. <sighs> yeah, have lunch up here. That'd be cool. Imagine living somewhere this big up here in a building this large. To work up here. Yeah.
Oh, because there's a clubhouse there and a clubhouse here. <laughs> Makes sense, right? Makes a lot of sense. It's a racket. This would it. This would be it up here. If some shit went down. This is where you get to. All right. Hopefully everybody has enjoyed this Daisy Town experience. Originally I thought it was Millionaire's Row, but that is down another trail. So what we're gonna do now is find a place and make some lunch. I'll see you guys here in a few minutes. Alright guys, we are at Metcalf Bottoms doing some lunch. We got some barbecue and we got some cool stuff. So Coleslaw, some boiled eggs, mustard potato salad with mustard just in case it's not mustardy enough. I'm gonna blame you, Steve Wallace. I watched your video this morning about you uh, behind the warehouse and you had pulled pork and you inspired this. So I asked my beautiful wife if she wanted to go up here and see all the stuff you just seen and then come here and do this she said yeah all right and we got some fresh not some fresh but food line brand lemonade here all right jack daniel's sweet and spicy Oh, that actually looks really good. Now, Steve had Lloyd's, and I really like Lloyd's, but we didn't see Lloyd's, and it was, I was a toss up between getting one pre-made like this. Oh yeah. Getting one pre-made like this, or just whipping, whipping one up real quick. Here. Alright. Now I will say that this grill is really difficult to use sometimes, especially if you can't see the flame. The stuff will get real hot real quick. Mmm. I love me some boiled eggs. Think they're good for you? I read they're good for you, but I read that on the internet. I don't think you're supposed to believe what you're doing in here. What is Yeah, going now. This must be. I got chicken though, instead of pulled pork. When this is all done and ready, I'll get back to you. Can you find you again? I was sitting having an egg with y'all. Because I ate my other one off camera. We got chased around. We were fighting off some yellow things. Mm. <laughs> we mess up table salad, y'all. <laughs> Kids don't even eat it. We'll buy a big tub. It won't last two days. Be back. You got him. There's another one. I 
Mm. And then sweet rolls, mm. mm. You got the Hawaiian sweet rolls, and same thing. Let me show them off. Pepperidge Farms. Pepperidge Farms. Yeah, I'm showing off some bread. You got that <laughs> dough, <laughs> baby. Dish it out, baby. Dish it out. I like mustard on my barbecue. And lemonade. We just have to drink straight from the bottle, baby. Hey. Oh, I got that fly too. I'm on fire. Look at that fly. Get off my back, homie. Whoa. Hello. Appreciate y'all for joining us. If anybody feels feels the need to and, and you choose so do so, you can say grace. We, but we don't. Sound like either a turkey or an adolescent human girl. <laughs> Comes up that coleslaw. Uh, oh, kind of sweet. Sour tastes good. Well, it's got it like a tang, but isn't cabbage tangy? Yeah, I mean cabbage is gonna be tangy, and you put a little bit of vinegar too. You know what I mean? I mean, it's got like a funky taste. I even well, like it ain't no good. Yeah, I even taste it. Like really the good. date? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Getting up on safety. I'm glad. I love, I love you, baby. Mm -hmm. We do one with and one without in order to get the, the full effect. We'll go one without first. That's really hot. Temperature wise. That's good. No mustard needed, that's good. Job, Jack Daniel. Mm. Well, guys, that's it. That's our day. Around noon thirty, right now. Raining, so we got to spend the day coming here to do this. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. And if you have, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you like stuff like this. I got all kinds of different things on the channel. But overall, hope you enjoyed. This is it's about. It.